Cumberland is a happening place. This is Go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We have a jam-packed show for you today. Our location is Cumberland. We're going to talk to the community schools. We're going to talk to the museum. And we're going to talk to Megan Kersons about the forest. But up first, this sweet spot. I love a good book, and I'll bet Anna does too. As promised, we're here at the Museum in Cumberland with Anna Rambo. Now, Anna, let's talk about Heritage Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Heritage Day takes place Saturday, February 20th. Yep. Um, there's a lot of activities at the museum and within Cumberland itself. Awesome. Um, so there's the Heritage Fair that runs from 10 to 4 in the Cultural Centre. And that has displays, live music, a uh, uh, yummy canteen. Um, and then at the same time, muse the museum is going to be open by donation from 10 Great. to 5 that That's day. That's awesome. Yeah. And you've got a really interesting... Um, craft going on for That's the kids. That's right. Yeah, in celebration of the Year of the Monkey, we're going to have messy monkey lantern making from oh, 11 till fun. 1. Yeah, awesome. so families can come down, make a lantern, and then right. if they'd like, they can take the lantern and carry it in the lantern um, walk Okay. Uh, that starts at 6 o'clock from Village Square. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. I love Heritage Day because it reminds us how far we've come. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And how interesting it was to live back there and how hard it was. It was hard life, man. Yeah, and if anyone is interested in finding out more about Cumberland's history, mm -hmm. we also have a walking tour starting at 2 o'clock. It leaves from Jum Jumbo's Cabin. It's Great. by donation. It goes okay. into the old town site, so the Chinatown Japanese town site uh, led Great. by Don Copeman. Excellent. Well, Great. thank you so much. And check out the website for more information. Right now, we are going to head over to Powell River where they are tapping the groundswell. That Groundswell project sounds absolutely fantastic. Check out the website for more information. Thank you to Anna for all of the details about the museum's activities for February 20th, which is Heritage Day. Right now, we're going to take a short break, but stay right where you are. We have more coming up. Welcome back. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are in Cumberland today, and we have already talked with Anna Rambo at the museum about February 20th, which is Heritage Day. All kinds of great activities going to be happening right here. Coming up next, an interview with Kate Ashton from the Cumberland Community School Society about a brand new fundraiser they have. But up first, this from Campbell River and Marjorie Greaves. Have a look. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are here in Cumberland in front of the Legion with the very lovely Kate Ashton from Cumberland Community Schools Society. Now, Kate, I have to ask you, why are we in front of the Royal Canadian Legion of Cumberland? Ah, well, we are hosting Bingo Wednesday nights at the Legion. Okay. And it is a fundraiser for our Cumberland Community Schools Society. Oh, that is so neat. So who is actually, you know, calling out... B! <laughs> I! One of our board members is uh, being our caller, and it is just, it's an awesome, fun social night for everybody to come out. We're taking new players, seasoned players, all levels, and uh, it's hopefully going to be a fundraising model for us for years to come, so we're really excited about it. That is fantastic. Now, how many people have you had come out so far? We are starting small, which I am yeah. excited about personally, because we are all <laughs> learning how to do it, but we are hoping to grow it so that it is super huge and we're hoping for 40 people a night and uh, awesome. we're excited. Okay, so what time on Wednesday nights? Doors open at 6.30. 6.30, okay. And the game starts at 7. And how long does the game go? Usually we're at it at 10 o'clock. All right, so that's a great way to spend a Wednesday night out being social. Yeah. Right, and playing bingo. Nice, and the last Wednesdays of every month we're having a theme night. <gasps> so you can come out. Wear some fun costumes. We're going to make it a shorter night, but more Excellent. fun. And not just cash prizes, but some fun prizes as well. Excellent. So you can check out the website for more information. Thank you so much. Right now, we are heading up to Campbell River for a little bit of rapid fire. Welcome back. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. We are here in the absolutely majestic Cumberland Forest. Coming up, 
an interview with Megan Kersons, but first, a little peek at some amazing photography. We have now arrived at the absolutely gorgeous Cumberland <laughs> Forest with the incomparable Megan Kersons, <laughs> who is the force behind this amazing project. All right, let's talk about where you're at. Well, we, and we mean that in the big picture because this is an incredible community that's behind this project, um, are going into acquisition mode this year. Acquisition Excellent. means we're buying forest. <laughs> Yay! So uh, this is what we've been working for uh, towards um, over the last couple of years. And so mm -hmm. we're going to be working on something called uh, Operation Safety. Saving Space Nugget over the next three months. Okay. That's the first in four parcels that we aim to buy in 2016. And we have a bunch of fundraisers coming up this spring that are basically going to awesome. close the gap and get us to the place where we're going to be able to buy that uh, straight out before summer. Fabulous. So by summertime, people are going to be playing and riding and hiking on Space Nugget, and the community's going to own it. That is so unbelievably amazing. Now, if people want more information about how they can be involved yeah. and how they can donate, where are we going? Well, it's, uh, it's easy. We're all over social media, so you can find us on Facebook every day, any day. Okay. And we'll update people about events there and our business partners. We're also on Twitter, if that's your preference. We're on Instagram, okay. and we encourage other people to do that as well. Okay. Incredible photographs on Instagram. And then our website okay. is cumberlandforest.com. And okay. uh, under news and upcoming events, you will always get a good sense of what we're up to. We're a pretty active community, and folks from all over the Comox Valley mm -hmm. are involved. So, awesome. And we have a lot of fun. We have fun while we're fundraising. <laughs> Well, that is awesome. Megan, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, this is just amazing that they're buying land this year. That is fantastic. Fantastic news. Now, thank you very much for your time. Oh. And now we are going to have a look at a reflection of the life of Ralph Shaw. Thank you so much for watching Go. And just like last week's Go, when we were in Powell River, I'm once again wearing pink getting ready for Pink Shirt Day coming up on February 24th. Thank you so much to Anna Rambo over at the Cumberland Museum bringing us up to speed on all of the events on Saturday, February 20th to celebrate Heritage Day. And of course, thank you to Kate Ashton, who is running the new bingo fundraiser every Wednesday at the Legion for the Cumberland Community School Society. That sounds like a whole lot of fun, including a theme night on the last Wednesday of every month. How much fun is that? And then thank you to Megan Kersons who brought us up to speed on the new acquisitions that are happening this year here for the Cumberland Forest. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous week and we'll see you soon.